Hi, I'm Sandata Yet Bilirel Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction C Language Series. Today we are in our lecture number seven of week four. Now let's proceed to our topic for today. Today is your midterm activities and project in C language. So the project given are considered if a programming problems needs to be solved using Visual Studio 2012 to 2019, any of the version, or the availability of the software which you can use. The activity and project problems consist of 10 items to solve. The requirements are as follows. Number one, you can use flowchart and needs to be passed each and every one of the items. So that is 10 flowchart. Number two, you can use algorithm and needs to be passed. And the algorithm you're going to use is something like the same output but different in terms of uh, the procedure of how you do the, the correct answer of the problem. Number three, you can use expression. You can use mathematics in terms of programming any kind of mathematics there are a bunch of mathematics all over the world and you can use that number four you can use computers as hardware and visual studio as software number five you can program on your own and pass now um, guides of the program watch programming one on my youtube channel flow chart algorithm and the program needs to pass so activity number one create a program that will accept an input from the user and will display the accepted input from the screen write your codes so it identifies an input coming from the user and uh, once you type the the input it will display the as output activity number two create a program that will display the pup him on the screen so you can check out on the pup web page or website about the pup him and make it sure you know this so what you need to do is to type this on the programming software and then run it so it will display the program output Num activity number three create a program that will accept five integers and will process and display the sum so five numbers as integers and it will compute for addition to get the sum so you need to have five inputs and you have uh, one output activity number four create a program that will accept five integers and will process and display the product so this is something like multiplication okay you can multiply five uh, integer number activity number five create a program that will accept five integers and will process and display the difference so this is something like subtraction you're going to input five integers then there, you're going to subtract all of them and you can get the difference as an out. Next activity number six, create a program that will accept five integers and will process and display the quotient. So this is something like division. So you're going to uh, input uh, five integers and make it sure that the beginning is larger number rather than or high higher number rather than a and the last one is lowest number to get the quotient otherwise it will become uh, something like negative next number seven create a program that will accept integer and will increment the integer out input it so you're going to type a uh, number integer on the screen and for example you're going to type five then if we're going to enter it it will go to six or seven or eight or any number it would uh, be as increment activity number eight create a program that will accept and integer will be decrement the integer inputted so this is something like the reverse of increment so if you're going to input five it will decrease to four three two one and that is decrement activity number nine create a program that will accept all grades per subject and process and display your average so to get the average you're going to add or sum all of your subjects then divide it by uh, the number of subjects you add to get the average and the last activity number 10 create a program that will compute for the salary of the employee where salary is equivalent to the number of days work multiplied by the rate per day so what you need to do here is to put rate per day the amount and then you can multiply this to number of days and that is the total salary okay so that is all the activity number uh, that you need to finish as activity and afterwards uh, you're going to create your flowchart and of course the algorithm you use and after that uh, you're going to 
type it in Microsoft Word and of course the program itself you're going to pass it uh, the flowchart itself that you create you're going to pass it also as a project okay now congratulations you successfully finished our discussion on activities and project as lecture number seven thank you and good luck